Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, and today we're going to have a, a walk around and uh, a drive of this, uh, I think it's 1960, um, Series 2, 88 inch petrol pickup. Hope you like it. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, very heavily patinated. Um, I think it's a 1960 model. Um, so it's an early Land Rover Series 2, 88 inch petrol pickup. Um, probably the prettiest Series 2 derivative there is really, perhaps probably the, in my opinion, perhaps the prettiest uh, classic Land Rover, in fairness, a Series 2 pickup. Um, finished in <coughs> finished in green, although as you can see, paintwork wise, it's probably it's one of the more heavily patinated ones we've seen, but I like them like this. Um, a lot of other people do. If you don't, then fair enough. Um, we'll take a slow walk round it. Whilst it looks a bit disreputable, um, apparently the last owner did have it in daily use and uh, kept up the mechanics on it. It was sold to us with apparently minimal rust in the chassis, which... Looking at the rear cross member, I perhaps would dispute that, but um, that's how it was sold to us. But uh, yeah, so it has been has been used on a daily basis, and it is really rather original uh, in terms of all its fixtures and fittings and things, um, with the exception of the engine. Originally, it would have had um, the original Series Two 2.25 petrol engine in it. Uh, it's now got, looking at the engine code, um, a Series Three. Um, 2.25 petrol in it so the engine is probably about uh, 11 or 12 years newer than the car um, not uncommon though in fairness but it has got its original flat front panel um, let's carry on round it and pick out some other good bits and bad bits we'll start here um, obviously it's got later indicators on it on both sides and presumably these mounts on the top here are for uh, wing mirrors I'm not going to talk about the paintwork because you can see what it's like um, there is however a weird hole that's been cut in the top of the top of the near side front wing possibly for a snorkel at some point don't know, don't know. bonnet mount for the spare wheel and it's the razor edge bonnet and it's got the uh, the correct screw points for the um, for the vent flaps let's have a look under here looks like it may have had a new front dumb iron section on it at some point but yeah where this minimal rust in the chassis comes from not really sure of the A post the roof's obviously been sat on a few times as isn't far from uncommon people tend to use it as a vantage point which puts stents in it near side door all the hinges are correct Passenger door tops in pretty good shape, and the bottom of the door is as well. Although I would have thought for a 1961, it would have had the different type of vent flaps on it, so perhaps that's been changed at some point. Obviously, some sort of maker's plate there. It's also got a, um, a period screen wash system fitted. I guess that's the bottle for it down there. Near side footwell and up under there. It's got what appears to be the original seats in it, which um, personally I prefer them like this because they're the original horsehair type, I think. So we're going to leave those in rather than replace them with nice fancy new ones. Odometer reading looks like 88,000 miles. Obviously, no idea if that's right, wrong, or indifferent, but. Uh, doesn't really matter, I don't think. Mm. 
near side rear wings obviously got a crease in it just along there and a slight split in the uh, Burma bright just down there looking under here tub has got um, a different floor in it, a metal floor. Around the tail end. Looks like cross member's been welded in the past along the top edge, but as you can see there, slightly hold at the top there. Quick look down the offside. Got a new exhaust system on it by the look of it. As I say, it was sold to us in writing with minimal rust in the chassis. Um, we're not going to be making the same claim, should we say. It's got its proper deep modesty covers on it. Obviously had a bit of a repair down there on the bottom of the A-post. And we've got a hole in the top of the um, scuffle corner just there. But it does have a certain charm. I, I do rather like it. Let's have a look in the, under the front here. Again, possibly had front dumb irons on it. We'll go back to inside. Driver's window top, not as good as the passenger one. Um, footwell is a little bit lacy on the driver's side. It's obviously had a repair panel put in there. There we have it. Still got its nice original three spoke sprung steering wheel. Um, short handbrake. Oh, I haven't shut that door properly. There we go. So, certainly has character. A quick video of the engine running on the uh, 1960 Series 2. Well, the engine, but uh, that's the job. <laughs>